Okay, to get started, the first thing we want to do is check our filler levels in our hopper. Then check our titanium levels, the liquid titanium, shake the drum. Then we want to check acetone. It's a pressure pot. Just remove the lid. Check it. Then we'll check our catalyst levels. Just pull the drawer out. Check catalyst. The next thing we'll do is apply air pressure to the machine. All right, next step, we want to start the machine. Main power on. Resin pressure, we want to put about 40 pounds. This will begin to recirculate the resin. Then turn on the heaters. We're going to bring the temperature here on the top button to 120. That's the pump you hear circulating now. Stop. Once you've reached the required temperature of 115 to 120, turn on the mix screw. Then you want to bring over here to your recirculate valves. Close valve one, which is your catalyst. Once this gauge here, which is your catalyst pressure gauge, reaches 150 to 200 pounds, you'll turn on valve two. At that point, you'll turn on your resin, base, and vein colors, and then your metering valve for your filler. At that point, you can make adjustments on your filler here, where it says metering rate. You can adjust the viscosity of the resin, how much filler you want. Catalyst pressure. Metering rates up here at the top. You keep an eye on your temperature. When it's time to shut it down, you want to turn your filler off first, then your resin, then your veining, and your base. Come back to your recirculation valves, turn off the catalyst, then turn your recirculation valve back on, then come up here to the top, turn your heat switch off, Back your pressure down. When your temperature gauge reaches about 100 degrees, then you can shut it down. Keep it running. At this point, we'll clean the auger. Just take a tooth, a tongue depressant or a craft stick and scrape this out, your mix out here. Then you have flushing valves here for your uh, injectors at the top for your veining, your base, and your resin. You can match the resin first, I mean the veining, I'm sorry, first to flush the veining. Then you can flush the base, which is your pigment, your TiO2. Mash that. And then flush your resin solenoid here at the top. What I do is hold my hand over here, pinch it, and hold these valves down, the base and the pigment for about five seconds. Hand me a bucket, Johnny. Until I see it running over my hand like this, I'll let the auger continue to turn. So it'll clean the auger. And then release it this way. You may need to take another craft stick and clean out some that was plant washed from the back to the front. And repeat the process again. Put your hand over tight. Flush the base and the pigment. This will also clean the barrel. Hold them for about five seconds. Hold your hand over this for about 10 or 15 seconds. We'll do it one more time. I love my Spanish. As you can see after the third time, the auger's clean, the barrel's clean. At that point, you can shut down the main screw mixer. You can lower your pressure on your pump. When you've reached your desired temperature of 100 degrees, 
Then you can shut your machine down. And at that point, return to the back of the machine, turn your main air pressure off, and just repeat the process to pour again.